Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. Today we're uh, going back, a bit back in time, back to uh, a bit ago when I was covering the mini Uzi and uh, regular Uzi. I forgot to cover this guy. My apologies for that. But here we are. Today we're covering the micro Uzi. So she is, or he is, or it is, the smallest in uh, in the group. We're, we'll get the other Uzis with us. Not the Uzi Compact, the Mini Uzi, and the Uzi Classic. I don't know if I covered the Compact. Good question. Might have to take a look at that. Anyways, as you can see, big boy, less big boy. Mini. Micro, actually. So, what is the micro Uzi? Well, it's just an Uzi, like uh, the other two I just mentioned. But a lot smaller. So, I'm not gonna go over the history of this thing. You've guys seen the history if you uh, checked out the other Uzi videos, which I would recommend. Here, we're just going to go over its features. So, you've already seen one of the features. It's folding stock. That's... Was on the auto Uzi, wherever it is. Did I throw it in the trash? I don't know. But on the um, mini Uzi, it also had a folding stock. And the regular Uzi, the Uzi Compact, also has a folding stock. Very useful. It's small. You can easily hide it in a pocket, get it out, and collapse it. And you're good to go, kind of. It has a grip safety, like the others. It has a... I believe the others has it as well. Let's... Uh, Let's get the classic Uzi back. Yep, it has a grip safety. You have a three position safety, safe. One of them is safe, one of them is semi, and one is auto. It's basically just exactly the same as a Uzi, just smaller. It is also chambered in our uh, good old friend 9mm Parabellum, just like all the others. If I get you here, it shares a magazine, I believe. Yep. It is really the same thing, except micro. So that means... Forgot it made that change. Oh. First of all... I'm not going crazy, am I? Gotta just... Yeah, I'm not going crazy. I forgot about that change, that's my thing. My fault. So, it's a closed bolt system this time. As you can see, it closes. Close bolt. Still closed. It has the same side though. Are you... There we go. It has a aperture side. And you can hear that rate of fire. It cranked the fire rate up to 11. So it's still a close bolt design, just like uh, the Mini Uzi. At Did I say close bolt? This is a close bolt design. What I was say, meaning to say is it is a blowback design. So there is no other mechanic to slow down the opening of the bolt. It relies on the mass of the bolt. And the Mini Uzi, Micro Uzi, my mistake, being a lot smaller than the Mini and uh, Compact and the regular Uzi, well, it's just, it has a small bolt, it's lighter. So, as a side effect, you get... Basically. You just get a much higher rate of fire. That's a side effect of the design. It's still a simple weapon. If you empty it, helps if you cock it. No bolt hold up open. Simple weapon. Tiny. It is uh, what it is. You uh, also have uh, various attachments for it, of course. You have a shorter magazine. You have a suppressor so that your brrrt can be a lot quieter. Doesn't sound as nice if you ask me. I like uh, listening to the gun sounds. 
Just give me those meaty gun sounds. Semi. Right. Helps if I also show you uh, different firing modes. Safe. Semi. And brrr. The giggle switch. It also doesn't have any uh, magazine release, so you have to grab the magazine on the bottom yourself. Or at least my button isn't doing anything. So uh, you gotta grab the magazine yourself, but that's no biggie. Magazine in the grip, as with all the other Uzis. Like I said, it's it's just a regular UZ, but small, micro. So, that uh, covers the micro UZ. I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.